In the last video I cloned a hard disk and in the process the recovery partition got lost. Here is how it can be restored. Additional informations are available, as always, on my website, libe.net. To take a look at the partition layout I start the disk management. In disk management, only the EFI partition and the C drive are listed for the hard disk, a partition for recovery, which should be at the end of the disk is missing. The PC works normal, but when I restart the PC via system slash recovery and advanced startup, some options are missing in the advanced options under troubleshooting, so in case of an error it is more complicated without the partition. As a prerequisite for creating the recovery partition, the file winre.vim in the folder C, Windows, System32, Recovery is required. One lesson I learned while cloning my hard drive is that the recovery partition should be made safe before the cloning process. This can be done with the command reagent C slash disable. The command copies the contents of the partition to the winre.vim file in the file system. After the cloning process, as shown later in the video, the contents can be restored with the reagent C slash enable command. Our installation is missing both the recovery partition and the winre.vim file. If the file is not available, it can be copied via the Windows Setup DVD. Unfortunately not directly, but via the file install.vim and the command dsm. I therefore create a new folder ctemp using mkdr and mount the install.vim file using dsm slash mount to it. The folder ctemp, shown in the left window now contains all default Windows files normally used for installation, we use it to copy the missing winari.vim file back to our system, which is opened in the right explorer window. As we do not need the mounted Windows installation files we can unmount it, again using the dsm command. Next we can use the disk part command line tool to shrink the existing Windows partition, create a new partition, and format it. Therefore I select disk 0 and partition 3. Shrink desired equals 700 gives us 700 megabyte space at the end of the disk, create partition primary and format quick adds and partition containing and file system to the space. The command reagent C slash enable then creates the actual recovery partition from the winra.vim file. The file in the recovery folder is removed, as the contents is now transferred to the recovery partition. To test our new recovery partition, I call advanced startup again, which boots the PC into the recovery partition. A look at the troubleshooting menu shows us additional options. An alternative and maybe easier but more time-consuming way to restore the recovery partition is to run the Windows setup again. Back to an installation without an recovery partition, I start Windows setup from the Windows installation media. Do not change the option, keep personal files and apps, to restore the whole installation, all its programs and settings. The setup installs a fresh Windows installation with its recovery partition and transfers the existing installation into it, the PC will therefore restart multiple times. Depending on the speed of your PC, the installation takes 20 minutes to over an hour. Once finished, the setup also added the recovery partition. I hope I could help you with restoring the recovery partition and that it can help in case of an error, or better that you do not need it. You can find more information and all necessary commands on my website libe.net. Thanks, leave me a thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel for more.